Hi, I'm Ryan Price, and I'm going to be showing you how to enable your Drupal site with a What You See is What You Get editor, also known as a WYSIWYG editor. Sometimes when you're editing content on your Drupal site and you don't have a client who maybe knows how to use HTML, they come to this content screen and it's kind of boring and they want something to be a little bit more exciting. And so what we actually have is the ability to install a module called WYSIWYG that lets us choose from a number of different editors and one of them that I've used a lot in the past is called the CK editor. In this case, what we're going to do is not install the official CK editor for Drupal module, but the WYSIWYG module with the CK editor library installed. Now, what we're going to do is go to our Drupal site and visit the modules administration screen to enable the WYSIWYG module. Now, the WYSIWYG sets itself up underneath of the configuration menu, and you'll see here under content authoring WYSIWYG profiles. Go and check this out, and you'll see that they say you haven't installed any editor yet. It gives you a big list of choices of which one you might want to download. Like I said, I'm going to be going with the CK editor, and they tell you make sure you put it in Sites, All, Libraries. And once you've done that, take your unpacked CK editor folder and drop it in here in libraries so that the CK editor.js folder is at this location. It should detect that I've installed an editor and it will let me choose which editor I would like to use to start configuring a rich content editor on my Drupal site. If you can see, I've only got one choice right now, which is the CK editor. So I'm going to choose CK editor for my full HTML format. The reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of websites, if you want to have people leave comments, they might use the filtered HTML format for that. So in this case, I want to give my editors the ability to use the full HTML format. And you can look here, the basic setup normally is just fine. Here you are going to have to choose some of the basic buttons that you would like to be used, such as bold, italic, bullets, numbered list. Definitely make sure you bring in the link. You also might want to make sure you've got image. There's lots of different things you can choose here, and if you're using Drupal, you might want to check out the teaser break button as well. It lets you choose whether you want to have the toolbar on the top or the bottom. And then here under clean up and output, you'll notice that you have a couple of options here. A lot of times this remove line breaks gets in my way, so I turn that off, and then I also try to make sure that I do the force cleanup on a standard paste. And last but not least, a lot of times using the theme CSS will work just fine with your editor, but sometimes that can create a weird thing if you have a, a background color. So you might want to use the editor's CSS instead of your theme's CSS. And those are some of the options that I normally set up here. And then when you save that, now any node on your site that's using the full HTML format and really any field anywhere will be using the CK editor. So if we go back to our content administration screen and then edit one of our original nodes, you'll see what I'm talking about. And you'll actually see that this node is in the filtered HTML format because it was created before I set up any of these preferences. But if I switch from filtered HTML to full HTML, now it replaces the editor that was there with my newly configured WYSIWYG editor. So I can take and go ahead and highlight some of this text and maybe bold that maybe highlight some more of this text and turn that into a link, whatever that happens to be. And now when I save this node, it's going to save all of those changes and I can go and take a look at it so you can see what I've just done. There you go, we've got the bold text there and the link right there. Very nice. Now, one thing that's going to help you quite a bit when you're uh, dealing with these different input formats, if you go to the configuration, again under content author and click on text formats here, and what you want to do is just reorder these so that the preferred input format is full HTML instead of filtered HTML. This way, you go to make a new node, Drupal will favor full HTML and you'll always get that rich text editor. This short video is only scratching the surface of what you can do with WYSIWYG and Drupal editors, as well as input formats, permissions, 
and lots of other options and really cool modules that are out there. So please stay tuned to future screencasts. Once again, I've been Ryan Price.